with Levi's. Okay, so how would that work? Uh, the derivative of the top times Which is? cos x, zero times cos x. I understand you guys just won a math award. Yes, Can you we tell sure me did. a bit about it? Sure. Um, it was an EQAO award, and we were recognized uh, for the province of Ontario for having one of the largest jumps from grade six scores to grade nine scores. We were one of 27 schools, a mixture of French and English, and Catholic and uh, public board, and literacy and numeracy. Uh, this was a tremendous honor for us, and once again, it was for having such a giant jump in our scores from grade six EQAO to grade nine. And what do you attribute that to? Well, there's, there's a lot of factors. Uh, one, one indisputable uh, fact is that we are a grade 7 to 12 school. We're the only one in the public board. And what that does is we have our own feeder within our own uh, building. Uh, and mostly having specialists all the way from 7 right to 12, not generalists in the 7 and 8. We have one vision. We're not two schools. Mm -hmm. And having all those passionate teachers about mathematics and, and students uh, really reflects. Should we be having our children learn their multiplication tables by rote? Um, that's a great question, and I know it's a hot topic these days, and mm -hmm. I say I'm all for it. Of course, I wouldn't want to abandon any of the old techniques that work. We just want to add to them, add a number of repertoires, uh, and make it sure that the, a student that is struggling perhaps with the multiplication table, that they'd be presented with another uh, opportunity to learn uh, perhaps maybe some of the understanding behind it, the, the critical thinking aspect to it. Why does it make sense? Not necessarily can you get just, just get the answer, but can you communicate it, can, can you connect it, and can you relate the math processes to it?